Hi everyone, this is a quick update to my last week's video. And in that video I was talking about the problems I was having with the Siglent SDS when I was trying to capture a waveform from an analog channel and use it for the arbitrary function generator. Now when I made that video I did not do that unprepared, I already had posted that question before on the EEV blog and there was no answer of anybody was able to do that and a couple of people, other people reported the same problem as well. However, one of the viewers of my channel this week informed me that it actually does work but it requires a different methodology which is not immediately clear from the manual. So I thought I made a quick update video where you can see how you actually get that to work. So here we go. So let's have a quick look how this um, this works. So I've got the uh, the Siglent oscilloscope set up um, over here. I'm going to use the arbitrary waveform generator and I'm going to use the Roden and Swartz over here to view the output of that waveform generator. So firstly I will be applying a sine wave to channel A of the Siglent. Sorry that I have to go in from the screen here. There we go, we got a a regular type of, um, of sine wave shown here and in order to, to recognize the wave well I will also superimpose another sine wave on top of it um, I think 10 times as high a, a frequency so there we go we gotta trigger it okay, it's not super nicely triggered but that's not so much of a problem because I will be using a single capture there we got it and this is what I would like to use for the arbitrary waveform generator. Right now the Siglent arbitrary waveform generator is simply playing another waveform from, from the built-in preset, which is a, a pulse waveform as you can see here. Now, the thing how to do this is that this is not present in the arbitrary waveform generator itself, but you actually have to go to the channel setting. In the channel setting there's a fast apply, Got a number of options here, but these are actually not the apply option where you need to go. There's another apply set of options over here. If we click there, we got a couple of additional options, and one of them is AWG. And once we click that, that's it, it's already there. So it copies right away the channel in which you're working to into the arbitrary waveform generator. And as long as that generator was already turned on, what we will actually see is that we have the waveform directly output it here. So even if I remove now the sine wave from the original oh, and run, so it's gone, we got it playing now simply from the arbitrary waveform generator. Now there's still one thing here to be reminded of and that is that we are getting the wave as it is was shown, captured by the SDS and there's no way to cut it that we exactly got a repeating periodic waveform that we might want to have. Why is that not possible? Because there is no way to cut the waveform like it's possible on other devices in the arbitrary waveform generator. You don't have little scissors or anything. And on top of it, with the signal device, and let me again put on a simple sine wave here to show that. Here we got a sine wave. There is no way actually to determine with a fine setting what you get on the screen. So we cannot like most other oscilloscopes press here, get to a fine setting and get exactly on the screen what we want, but we only got the settings like one, two, five, one, two, five, etc. Um, so in this way you cannot generate exactly the, um, the periodic waveform that you would like to regenerate. But having that said, I'm happy to report that the arbitrary waveform generator does work from an analog channel. And thanks again to, to viewer Saron Day who has, uh, who has uh, alerted me uh, about this. So this is today's quick um, episode and see you soon for a, uh, a next episode. Thank you.